This video is sponsored by Keen. Keen connects you to talented tarot card readers, astrologers, and psychics who have the answers to your most pressing questions. I recently had a reading with Keen and I couldn't be happier with the results. I had a lot of questions about my YouTube channel, my TikTok, my personal life, my day job, and I was just so impressed with what they had to offer and all of the answers that they had. Guys, if you want to check out Keen, you can get your first five minutes for just one dollar. Their link is in my description. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Welcome, 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 welcome. 
it's just so pigmented and so dewy and so gorgeous and I just find this color is like really natural looking like it looks like you just like pinched your cheeks it's so pretty but I love it so much I definitely plan on getting more shades of this blush it is comparable if you ask me to the rare beauty blushes but a fraction of the price and honestly I feel like I need to use like even less of this like the rare beauty you do just need like a dab but this I swear I used even less and like the tiniest bit went the longest way I just love it so much I can't wait to get more shades another product that I've been loving is the tower 28 lip gloss this is in the shade XOXO this lip gloss was actually recommended by um, Lullaby Leah ASMR is the one who like first kind of suggested it or recommended it and of course I had to go out and buy it immediately but yeah this is the XOXO shade and it's just this gorgeous gorgeous hot pink and I'm actually I'm wearing it today and I've been wearing it in a lot of TikToks and anytime I wear it um, people ask me what I have on so it's the Tower 28 in XOXO and it's just this beautiful beautiful hot pink and I'm not wearing like a lip liner or anything and it does give like just a really nice pop of hot pink to your lips it really like augments your natural lip color and it's just so smooth so soft on the lips it's not sticky i really love it the only downside would be like for me it's unscented some people really love that i honestly kind of prefer a scented gloss but i mean it's not a deal breaker the shade is gorgeous it's affordable um and the formula is amazing so definitely i would recommend giving these a try because i love them so much Another lip product that I've been loving, loving, loving is the Summer Fridays, the new Summer Fridays lip oil, and this is in the shade Pink, Pink, Pink Cloud. So I actually picked this up as soon as I found out that Summer Fridays was coming out with the lip oil. I was like ready to purchase immediately, like as soon as it came on sale at Sephora, I, I picked it up. But, um... It's just this like beautiful, beautiful pink color. Um, I've been wearing this a lot this month and they do like have a slight like vanilla scent which I really like and again just like really moisturizing, really smooth, really soft on the lips. Um, the downside to Summer Fridays is they are quite pricey especially in Canada where I live. I think I paid $35 like for just this one bottle. Um, I actually picked up two shades so $70 for two lip glosses is insane. Like I'm not gonna lie about that. It's insanely priced but um, very beautiful and if, if you can manage to splurge worth trying I would say. Another product that I've been really loving is this Into the Night. This is the Bath and Body Works Diamond Shimmer Mist. And you might notice my hands are quite sparkly for this video. So anytime that you see my hands in a video and they are glittery, sparkly, it's usually one of these diamond shimmer mists that I'm wearing. Um, but lately I've been loving the Into the Night scent. Um, sometimes I also wear like those like um, crackling foam, glittery foam sprays or whatever as well from Bath and Body but lately I've been loving this one especially on a night out it just smells so amazing and this scent was actually recommended to me by like a few ladies on YouTube as well um, 
my skin was so yeah highly recommend I really love it another bath and body works product and I talk about their shower gels all the time this is their body wash or shower gel and lately I've been using the winter candy apple but honestly there's not many scents from bath and body that I don't enjoy um, this just happens to be the one at the moment that I shower I always have like a Bath and Body Works body wash on the go they just smell so amazing and they're so moisturizing on the skin they lather up really nicely um, they're just the best the best yeah I love this one um, this one I think like it doesn't really say the scent notes on it it just smells like winter candy apple but yeah it smells like it smells a little bit cinnamony. It smells a little bit sweet, a little bit tart, but just very, very nice. And the packaging, like how beautiful. Like it just looks so nice in your shower. But yeah, I've been loving that. Another product that I was secretly kind of hoping that I didn't love is the Glow Recipe, the Watermelon Glow Pink Juice Moisturizer. So I picked this up kind of on a whim, kind of hoping to make a few TikTok videos with it and kind of just like, I was kind of hoping that I wouldn't like it very much because I know I don't really like scented products and it does smell like watermelon. But honestly, guys, I've been using this and I have to say, I do love it. It's very moisturizing. Um, it does have like a slight scent like a slight watermelon scent and that's why I was expecting not to like it I don't like scented products on my actual face I love scented products like for my lips for like body sprays body wash body cream but just I find scents on my face do tend to break me out I have quite sensitive skin on my face but the scent on this is just very light and not overpowering it's kind of hard to explain if you don't smell it yourself but it's almost not even there it's just the slightest hint but what I love most about this product is the packaging I love the glass packaging I think it's so beautiful um like they did not cheap out on the packaging that's for sure and I also really love the you guys know I rave about my Clinique Moisture Surge, the moisturizer, all the time. But one thing that I would say I don't love about that is that you do have to actually put your finger in the pot to get at the product. It doesn't have a pump. Um, and that can be unsanitary. So I love the packaging on this. I love that it has a pump. And I'm pleasantly surprised that I don't hate the scent of it on my skin. So yeah, purchased this, not thinking I would like it, but I actually ended up liking it very much. Another product that can't go unmentioned on my monthly favorites is my trusty Clinique All About Eyes. You guys know I love this stuff. I've been using this for years and years and years. I just can't leave it out. It's an amazing eye cream, especially in the winter when like your skin can be dry and you can be overtired. The days are like, like short. You don't get a lot of daylight. It just, it's like an exhausting time of year. So sometimes, you know, I have bags under my eyes and things and this just like perks me right up. I love it. I love it. Chef's kiss. Another product that I rave about quite a bit, but I cannot live without this baby in the winter is my Milkshake 12 Effect Incredible Milk. This stuff is amazing. It is the reason my hair is soft and that I don't have split ends throughout the winter. Um, my hair is also very long and can get very tangly. This stuff just whips the tangles right out of it and the just like complete um, peak, like the piece de resistance is that it smells like heaven. If you have not smelled this stuff, it smells like a cupcake. It smells like a vanilla milkshake. It smells like vanilla ice cream. It's amazing, amazing, amazing and does such great stuff for your hair. Guys, another product that you know I love, but sadly I am running low on this. I just ran out of my full size of my Mac Stack mascara, and now I'm just on to this little baby one, and I know it's not going to last me much longer. I was 
amazing. The wand is amazing. It gets every lash and like I also find I don't have to wear falsies when I'm using it but it's just so freaking 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 expensive so guys help me out. Recommend what mascara should I try that might be at least somewhat as good as this because it is breaking the bank. Another product that I've been loving is the Glamnetic. This is their nail glue, the Glamnetic nail glue, and you can see it's well loved, it's stained, um, and it's also starting to get empty, so this baby does need to be replaced soon. But what I love most about this is the packaging. I love, love, love that it's brush on, it's mess free, and honestly, it makes your nails last at least two weeks. Like, I will get two weeks out of this set because of this nail glue. It really helps to fully, like, coat the nail, and yeah, I just love it, love it, love it so much. And last but not least, I've been really enjoying this arc. This is an after teeth, after tooth brushing product. Um, you put this on your toothbrush after you've already brushed your teeth with regular toothpaste. And this is a whitening formula or like a whitening gel that you kind of brush on your teeth for one minute after you've finished brushing. And guys, like, look at my teeth. They're super white. Like, and I, and like, I, I think it's this. Like, I've been using this for a few weeks now and I can really tell. I can really tell a huge difference. I'm a coffee drinker. I'm a wine drinker and red wine at that. And I do from time to time enjoy a can of pop, like a can of Diet Pepsi, a can of Diet Coke. So I do find like lately my teeth have been getting a little bit stained and this really, really has helped to combat that. So yeah, I've been loving this. I picked this up at Walmart. It was actually on sale. I think I got it for like $5.99, something like that. But yeah, I've really, really been loving it. You just kind of brush it onto your teeth, spit it out, and rinse. And yeah, it's been making a huge difference. All right, guys, that's the video for today. Those are all the products that I've been really loving this month. I really enjoyed sharing everything with you. Special shout out and special thank you to my dear, dear friend, Lori Latte, who did gift me a few of my favorites this month. Guys, if you want to check out Lori's channel, I'm going to link her in the description box down below. Guys, again, like I said, if you have any recommendations of products that you think I should try, I love trying new things. Specifically, right now, I am in the market for a new mascara. Guys, please comment if you know of any good, like, affordable, maybe drugstore, maybe Walmart, um, that are less expensive than the Mac Stack, because as much as I love it, it's so pricey. Guys, a special thank you to our sponsor, Keen. Keen is such an amazing website. They have an app as well. Please check them out. You can get your first five minutes for just one dollar. All of their information is in my description box down below. All right, guys, that's the video. As always, I love you all and God bless. <laughs>